Hi everyone and welcome to the Fox 56 Sports Show driven by Toyota. This week we're talking some high school softball. We're right in the middle of district playoffs. The Nanticoke Trojanettes wrapped up an undefeated regular season coming into this week. A perfect 13-0. We'll talk with Coach Ryan Stetz and some of the seniors on this team on what it'll take to battle through the district in Class 4A. We also head to Abington Heights as the Comets are the top seed in District 2 5A sub-regional. They won the title last year in AAA and they're trying to make it two trips in a row to the state tournament. Dunmore junior Gavin Darcy is the top seed in the state in Javelin in Class AA. We'll catch up with him while he prepares for the PIAA championships in Shippensburg this weekend. Finally, Bob Ide heads to Valley Country Club in Sugarloaf for a preview of this weekend's LPGA Pennsylvania Open. Let's start things out tonight with Nanticoke softball. They're feeling confident after an undefeated regular season, but not taking any team in Class 4A lightly. We caught up with the Trojanettes at the beginning of the week. Talent wins games, but teamwork wins championships. The Nanticoke girls softball team has the winning games part down, wrapping up an undefeated 13-0 regular season, but a championship is yet to be determined. Starting the postseason, Coach Ryan Stetz came into practice at the beginning of the week with a fresh start outlook, going back to basics and working on the solid fundamentals that got the Trojanets to where they are now. We're really excited to start the week of practice preparation. Uh, we finished the regular season with four games, so a little rest, and now we get to focus in on what we do best, and we're really looking forward to a good week of practice and representing our school in a district tournament. We Fundamentally, we have really good players, and I think focusing them uh, on, on the things that they do well. We're going to work on some things that, I, that I've seen through the years in, in playoffs that help us and, and will help us get to our goal, and uh, just staying calm uh, in big situations. And we have really great players, and they tend to step up at really big times. Yeah, I think um, the biggest thing this year is that we're just taking it one game at a time, starting every game fresh, and I think that's definitely helped out so far, and I think it will be a big asset as we move forward. It's always important to work on your fundamentals. You know, every practice you should be working on your position-specific skills, and you should be hitting every practice. And, you know, good habits and good muscle memory are key to winning a championship, and I think that going back to basics and going back to fundamentals is really going to benefit us in the long run of this tournament. The playoffs are basically a fresh start, and we're getting back to our basics, fundamentals, hitting-wise, fielding-wise, making sure we're doing everything correctly um, to get ready for playoffs. The four seniors on this team have been a vital part of the Trojanettes' success for years, and they have a different mindset going into the District 2 4A playoffs, knowing any game could be their last. I'm, I really want to go out there, and all the seniors want to go out there, and play like it's going to be our last because it's going to be our last if we what we lose so going out there with the heart and I know the seniors will go everyone else will go out with so much confidence and hoping that we will win it's so much more special you know every single moment when you're a freshman and you're in the district tournament you kind of take it for granted because you're like oh I have three more district tournaments but as you get older and you become an upperclassman every single one gets more special you're like I want to do it this year I want to do it this year and this year now that I'm a senior I really want to win this just as everybody else does we all want this more than anything we all take this game so seriously with so much heart and passion and we're going to leave it all out on the field this year and I hope that everybody who comes to our games will see just how hard we've worked and how much we care about this sport. Being a senior it like we're so close we are so bonded on this team. It's just it's so great. We love everybody. We get, we play well together. We hit well. We're just a team, and we love do, doing what we do. One of the more vocal leaders on the team, senior catcher Morgan Briggs, sees everything from behind the plate and relies on her passion for defense to keep the wins rolling. I'm a very defensive player. Um, you know, I love blocking balls in the dirt. It's my favorite thing to do softball-wise. So I'm all over that. Um, I try to get as many strikes as I can for Miranda as a pitcher of my framing. We have a great infield. We have the cannon on the corner, Jenna Lepowski. We have Gabby Rakowski and Cassie Novakowski, who are just so solid up the middle. And then we have Jill Barron, who's our six-foot first baseman, who just sucks everything up like a vacuum. And our outfield is great as well. You know, They catch everything right in front of them. They catch everything in the gap. They're just great. And I think our team chemistry on defense has really helped us this season because defense wins championships. And I firmly believe that. And I think that our defense has really carried us through the season. When we weren't able to hit, we'd come up with a big play on defense. How confident does it make you girls knowing that you can really rely on every position? Definitely it's major confidence, especially with Miranda knowing that we have, she knows that we have her back on the mound and knowing that we could get to a ball just to help her out. Briggs has a special connection with junior ace pitcher Miranda Bone 
who seems to be peaking at the right time going into districts. Miranda and I actually have worked together all winter long at Max Impact. I would go up and catch her bullpens for her. So, you know, we already had good, good chemistry before this season because we've worked together since we were in tenure travel ball. But this year we've really developed a special bond and everything that she's throwing is great. You know, um, she's a really good strikeout pitch. I'm not going to reveal that information, but um, it's a great pitch. And every single one of her pitches has been working to her strengths. You know, she keeps the ball down to the zone, which is key. Um, she'll mix the eye levels up every now and again, but she's really throwing the ball hard and well, and I couldn't be more proud of her. Oh yeah, we definitely got um, a lot more chemistry as the year went on. Definitely got more used to each other and everything. But I mean, we've been playing for a while, so we ha we were able to, you know, to tell each other what we like and what we don't like. Mm -hmm. So we work really well together. Uh, she's amazing. She's she's so powerful. She's so confident in the mountain. It really makes us like feel good. Like we always have her back, and I'm I'm real proud of her. Like all she's done this year, and I can't wait to see her kill it. Senior slugger Jenna Lepowski closed out on over 30 home runs for her career including two in one game recently against Wyoming area. I give all my credit in the world to my hitting instructor, Dennis Smetting. Uh, I go to the, him like three times a week and really focusing on hitting. All the girls on the team could hit, basically one through nine. They could put a, a, a bat on the ball and everyone could produce power. And knowing that we could help, also help Miranda out on the pitching mound with helping with bats and she could use her bat too. It's awesome that we all could produce runs. Jenna Lepowski, our, our two, three hitter, uh, she is phenomenal and she's done nothing but carry us offensively. And then we just have great role players in between and they all get along and they all play well together. Two seeds come out of class 4A this year, so the chances for Nanticoke are looking good. The Trojanettes won state titles in 2003, seven years later in 2010, and if everything goes to plan with maybe a little luck, who knows, maybe seven years later in 2017, they could do it again. We respect everybody in the bracket, and uh, but we have, a, we have a still confidence in our girls, and we're looking forward to the challenge. The key is really teamwork. That's, that's the thing right now. We, we really have to get the runs up early. We have to attack each team. We really have to work hard, and I know we could do it. But we can't just go off like, oh, we already went there already. Like we, we have, It's a new season. We're definitely going to work hard this postseason. And we're really excited for this. Don't go anywhere when we come right back. Abington Heights softball. Well, I just think our confidence yeah. level got much higher. I said, you know, our freshmen, the first time we played him, it was a big game. <laughs> Megan's first game as a pitcher, mm -hmm. a first big game for her.